the parasympathetic and sympathetic supply to the heart. There is a difference in sympathetic and parasympathetic supply to the heart. Uh, Let us talk about this is very interesting thing. It is worth learning because many concepts in cardiology are related with this basic thing how autonomic nervous system is dealing with the heart. You know in the heart there is a SA node, yes there is a V node and Purkinje fibers, right, okay. Now, sympathetic supply goes to, yes what is this, SA node, it goes to atrium, sympathetic receptors are also present on AV node, sympathetic receptors are also pr present on Purkinje fibers and sympathetic fibers are also present on generalized ventricular myocardium. Is that right? Clear? Opposed to that, parasympathetic supply is not so diffusely present on the heart. Parasympathetic fibers are mainly concentrated on the SO node and number two, they are mainly concentrated on the AV node and very few on atrium and almost non-existent to ventricle. So, it means when you have sympathetic drive, it will have, look here, sympathetic drive, it will have positive coronotropic action. It will have positive dromotropic action, sympathetic supply will have positive bathmotropic action and it will have positive inotropic and clinotropic action. But when you have stimulation of parasympathetic nervous system, it will have opposite to that but not all the component. When you have parasympathetic stimulation, there is negative chronotropic action, there is negative dromotropic action but do not tell anyone that vagal stimulation will end up into negative inotropic action. Sympathetic stimulation has a positive inotropic uh, action, but parasympathetic does not have negative inotropic action. Is that right? Or negative bathmotropic action or negative clinotropic action. So, what we have to really learn that as far as heart is concerned, again sympathetic receptors are diffusely present on the myocardium, but parasympathetic fibers are specially concentrated on S node and AV node. Is that right? Now, I want to ask one interesting question. Uh, these are what are, what are these things? right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. Uh, Dr. Maliha is going to tell us that these bundle branches are, these bundle branches are, I will give you a choice. You have to choose any one. These bundle branches are made of number one fibrous tissue, number two neuronal tissue, number three myocardial tissue, choice number one, two and three. Yes please. They are neuronal tissue. This is the answer by Dr. Maliha. Uh, what about you? That these bundle branches, they are made of uh, fibrous tissue. They are connective tissue fibers or they are neuronal fibers or they are myocardial fibers. Hurry up. Number one. Number one, you feel it is connective tissue fibers. Uh, question goes to you ma'am. Any, any idea? Again, I will repeat the question. The bundle branches are made of a connective tissue or made of neuronal tissue or made of myocardial tissue. Neuronal. These are neuronal tissue. What about you, ma'am? Neuronal. neuronal tissue. Yes, madam. Neuronal. neuronal tissue. Another madam is there. Neuronal tissue. You know, thank God democracy does not uh, decide uh, about the medical facts. Yes, please. It is specialized myocardial tissue. Thank God. At least there is a person who knows it. It is so sad. Do not tell me these are cardiac nerves. This is not neuronal tissue. Then I have to tell you very basic thing. Myocardium is divided into two types of myocardium. Specialized myocardium and generalized my myocardium. Specialized myocardium is modified myocardium which has done some specialist function. Listen carefully. SA node is modified specialized myocardium which has done specialization in automaticity. Automaticity mean? It is specialized in producing spontaneous section potentials. Automaticity means a tissue has a tendency to undergo auto depolarizations. AV node is specialized myocardium. What is its specialization? Slow conduction. It makes the conduction very, very slow. It holds the current until atrium complete their contraction and throw the blood into ventricle. Then AV node releases the current into ventricle so that First atrial contraction should be complete and then ventricles should contract. Is that right? And bundle branches, they are also specialized in myocardium but specialized in fast conduction. Oh my God, I have to teach cardiology. 
right? So what is this? These are specialized myocardium which are specialized in fast conduction. And of course, then there is uh, ventricular fibers which are just normal myocardium and general myocardium. Do not tell me this is connective tissue, please. Connective tissue act as an insulator. So, how the current will pass through that? Am I right, ma'am? Right? Connective tissue is this black one. This black septum is connective tissue. This does not allow the free movement of current down. The only electrical window between the atria and ventricle is your AV node which is specialized in slow conduction and Purkinje fibers are specialized in fast conduction. AV, uh, SA node is specialized in automaticity. Now let me tell you something interesting. This is normal myocardial cell. What are its function? It can show some automaticity on provocation. It can show some conduction. It can show some contraction. But it is not specialized in automaticity. It is not specialized in slow or fast conduction. Normally, atrial fibers and ventricular fibers do conduct with moderate speeds. They are not specialized in slow conduction or fast, but they do contract as well. SA node fibers have lost the capability of contraction, but they have developed the capability of high automaticity. This has developed capability of slow conduction. These fibers have developed high capacity of fast conduction. Then you would ask why this is slow and this is fast. We will talk later, but just I want to tell you, here the cells are smaller in size, here the cells are larger in size. Here the cells have less gap junctions, here the cells have lot of gap junctions. So electrical window, here is very few and here they are very, are you getting me or not? You are really getting me, yes, what about you? Your understanding, you know cell to cell there are electrical windows. The cells which are present in AV node, they are arranged like this and there are very few electrical windows and cells are against the current flow, perpendicular, so current flows very slowly. But in bundle, in these fibers, cells are very large and they have lot of gap junctions and they are big diameter and less cells are traveled, I mean they are cells are oriented along the current flow. Is that right? So simply by making the cells small and by making the cells with less electrical windows which are gap junctions and by making the cells orientation against the current flow, you make AV node. By making the cells larger, making them big diameter, so that current moves with less resistance, making the cells oriented along the current flow and making the cells with lot of electrical windows, gap junctions, makes them specialized in fast conduction. Is that right? Why I was so much concentrating on this thing? Because good students should know that adrenergic receptors are present in all the myocardium, SA node, AV node, atrial, ventricular and Purkinje system. But vagal activity is mainly on these two specialized area, SA node and AV node. That is why when vagus is too much stimulated, it may lead to bradycardia. And if it becomes so much inhibited, no current from here to here is going, then we say hard block or nodal block or junctional block, you can choose whatever you want. These three terms are used. Is that right? Am I clear? But don't tell anyone that because vagus was stimulated, myocardium does not contract. Vagus does not affect the myocardial contractility. Am I clear? Okay, let's come back. So we were talking about here that vagus has good supply. Okay, uh, there are how many vagi there? Two. There's right vagus and left vagus. Right vagus supplies which part of the heart? Question goes to yes, madam. Okay, she is a very simple lady. She says right vagus should supply the right uh, right side of the heart and left vagus should supply the left side of the heart. Can you be more elaborate about this answer? Right vagus supplies which part of the heart? Yes, please. I'm about to die. Yes, please. Right vagus supply which part of the heart? Okay, there is a new theory which no one in the world knows. She says right vagus does not supply the heart. Right? Okay. This is totally new. No one knows in the world. Yes. Yeah. You know, the doctors have came with a new idea. There is a milkshaker there and it is mixing both vagi and then supply. Yes. Please tell me. S node is supplied by the right vagus and AV node is supplied by the left vagus. It is such an important clinical thing. When it is so important, I do not know how to further emphasize it. Right vagus supplies 
SA node and left vagal supply is dominantly AV node. I will not go into embryology of heart attack, of course, right. 